Okay, so the thing we're going to look at next is called branching in the PDF file and there's a couple of things that we need to learn here. So we're going to page 18. So we have a look at this code and the first thing I want to point out is that what we've got here is i. Now i could just as well be a number, it's just a variable. So it could be called number, it could be called i, it could be called x. It really doesn't matter, but it's going to start off by equaling 1. The second line here is like, it's like a signpost, but it's not a signpost to somewhere, it's a signpost telling you where you are. And you can tell this because it's got the colon at the end. And this signpost is called start, but it, it could just as well be called Fred or Bob. So, we've got i equaling 1, we've got our signpost saying start, and then it's going to write in the window i, which is the value, which we know is going to be 1. The next statement is how you build things up. So the variable i is now going to equal i plus 1. Now for some of you, and I know I had this moment, you might go, well that makes no sense. How can i equal i plus 1? Because surely i equals i. It's, you know, that would be like saying 4 equals 4 plus 1. But what it, that means is the new value of i, this thing here, is the old value of i plus whatever. So you could make it i equals i times 2. It's basically saying the new value of this equals this equation. And it's a way of bumping stuff up by 1, but you can bump it up by any other number. So, the next thing, and this is what the branching is about, is the statement saying, if i equals less than 25, then go to start. So it's saying, go to the place that's called start, which in this case is saying, go back to here. So it's creating a little loop. So we go from here to there, and if i still equals less than 25, we go back and do it again. So it's a way of repeating the action. And there you go, and end if. So that's the statement saying, if this happens, if it, i is less than 25, do that, and that's the end of the if statement. So let's go and run it and, and see what it looks like, because I think it'll make more sense when you see it run. So there's my example from the last one, I'm just going to paste over that. So there we go, it's a little bit easier to understand, I find, when it's in colour. So we run the code. So what it's done here is it said, here's what i equals, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's bumped it up by 1, and when it discovers that i equals 25, it's gone out of that loop, because it's failed the condition that i equals less than 25. So. I actually, let's say if i equals less than 26, because then that way it's going to count all the way up to 25, which you can see it's done there. Now it's a little bit hard to read because of the way it's scrolled, so 1 through 25. So here's the variation that I'm going to make. I'm going to say that instead of counting by 1s, it's going to count by 5s. And actually let's just do the same thing, so it's counting by 5, so i equals 1, Actually, why don't we make i equals 0? The start is the same, but just to prove my point, instead of calling it start, I'm going to call it Bob. And then I'm going to say go to Bob. Because as long as it's telling it where to go to, it doesn't matter what it's called. So i, the new value of i, equals the old value of i plus 5, and if it's less than 25, at 26, go back and do it all again. And if it goes over that, then that's the end of that if. So let's run this program. There you go. So the first value was 0, then it plus 5, and it was 5, and so forth. So what I could do is say I'm going to go up by 3s, and if it's less than 100, um, keep going back and doing it again. So bump it up by another 3, or write the value, bump it up by another 3. So here we go. So what you've got is counting up by threes all the way from zero. Just as another example, and this will be my last one, let's start at, I don't know, 20. So we're starting at 20, so our first number is going to be 20, then i is going to be 20 plus 3, so the new value is going to be 23, and then we'll go through the loop again. So let's watch that run. There we go. So I started at 20, went all the way up to 98, the next number would have been 101, but because that fails the if test, that's where the program stops. So I'll look forward to seeing what your program does.